Now, there are a few things I detest more in life than thieves. I absolutely hate thieves. They are some of the worst scum of the planet. And I am constantly worried about my fishing kayak when I am out on the road, uh, when I'm traveling, and when I have it parked right here in my driveway because I've had theft right here in my driveway. You know, one of the things that I know from experience is that uh, there's many ways that thieves can get around uh, all the security options out there for protecting your kayak from theft. Um, so this is really a video about deterrence because thieves are generally lazy and many of them are dumb. And so if you just deter them just a little bit, uh, oftentimes uh, they won't go through with the act and it also gives you a little bit of peace of mind. But you know, the, the methods I use to protect my kayak, I know they're not 100% fail safe but at least gives me a little bit of peace of mind. So I'm gonna show you the two methods I use to secure my kayak, and then I'm gonna show you some of the other options that I've tried that I really don't like and the reasons why, and I'm gonna talk about some of the other options I don't use, but I would recommend that you could potentially use. So the first thing I use is just a simple cable lock, right? These $15, $20 cable lock, they're great for these sit on top fishing kayaks because what I will do is when I'm traveling, I will just run this up underneath my main rail bar, pull some slack through, and then I can just push this up through the scupper hole, bring this down, and I have secured my kayak. The locks are very reliable. They don't gum up like a lot of the other cheap locks. Uh, this is the master lock python cable locks there's a bunch of cable locks out there you can get much thicker heavier cable um, or you can get thinner if you want to and i do realize that these are really vulnerable to just simply coming up and hitting them with a pair of bolt cutters but again this is just a deterrence the second thing i use is an alarm now i'll put links to all of the products that i mentioned in this video down below so if you want to use the same ones that i'm using you can and what I like about this one is it's got a sticky backing plate on it. And I've been using these for a little over a year and a half now. I really like them. Uh, they've been reliable. Uh, it runs on three AAA batteries, which lasts just about one year. So what I'll do is I'll glue these or stick these up inside the hole of my kayak somewhere. Um, or I put some Velcro on them so I can take them on and off. And they come with a little key fob. And you can arm them. Uh, by just pushing a button here and it'll make some sound. And what happens is if it gets rattled, it'll do an initial warning, and then it does a really loud one, and then it'll start to go. So like I said, I'll put these somewhere inside the hole of the kayak somewhere. I won't reveal my locations. And this is really nice for like when I'm camping or I'm away from my vehicle or I have my kayak parked in a hotel parking lot and, and I'm a little worried about it getting stolen. I'll have this cable lock on there and then I'll have that. That's going to wake everybody up and hopefully deter a thief. So I'll arm it. It's very easy to detect that sound from a long way away. Um, the one thing I found about it is that it's a little bit sensitive if you're parking by a main highway where there's lots of like semi traffic and it, it rattles a little bit, it will trigger the alarm. It's that sensitive. Uh, so that's one of the one things I will say I don't like about it is it's a little bit oversensitive, especially to loud music, uh, like loud bass, and a little bit of rumbling from like semis and stuff like that. But if somebody comes up and bumps the kayak and tries to move it like that, that's usually going to scare them away. But if they keep trying to go after it, that's going to wake me up and give me time to get down there and and protect my kayak from getting stolen. Now I have in the past experimented with these reinforced straps uh, that have a locking mechanism built into them and like this one here from Steelcore. And they will either have like a cable running through the center like this one does, or they will have like a, a steel mesh through them so they can't be cut. And that combination offers very similar, if not maybe in slightly better protection than just a simple cable lock. But the problem with I found with these is that um, I really wanted to use them to replace my normal straps, but I could never get the straps to be tight enough, secure enough to transport my kayak. So it just didn't give me the confidence I needed to have it strapped down tightly. 
And secondly, I find the locking mechanisms on these things to be quite chintzy and they gum up and they're just really not user friendly. And I also really prefer how simple and easy it is to use these cable locks in terms of getting them on and off of the kayak because they so easily slide up through the holes and come over the side of the railing. And likewise, when I'm undoing them, it's very quick deployment and removal that it just doesn't take me any time. It's not a nuisance. Now, because the rack system that I use employs the Showboat 66 assist bar lift, which creates this, there's another bar here that slides back and forth that allows me to have assistance in terms of lifting the kayak up off the back. It doesn't allow me to use another locking system that I've seen, and that's a company called LockRack. And what I like most about LockRack is, um, this is a South African company. Um, it has these two arms that come up and they can slide out and then slide in to create tension on the kayak itself and lock it in. And the system looks really clean and it was developed in South Africa where crime is rampant and theft especially. So they've got good reason and practice with these things. Um, I would love to use it too because it essentially makes it uh, so that you don't even have to have straps. Um, that go over the center of the kayak. It replaces your strap system as well. You still need your bow and stern tie downs, but that would be really nice coming off the water at the end of the day. Just click that thing in, lock it in. It squeezes into those rubber arms and that holds it nice and tight and secure with a locking mechanism. So I'll put links to that one uh, below as well. And lastly, another thing that I've recently added to my kayaks is an Apple AirTag. Now they make a similar product for Android users too, but if you're an Apple user, you can use these AirTags. They're relatively inexpensive. And while this doesn't necessarily deter theft specifically, it does allow you the peace of mind to check on the location of your kayak at any given time. And if it is stolen, it's gonna help you recover that kayak potentially. So it's a very inexpensive investment and uh, I've found them to be really great uh, when I'm traveling and I end up having to leave my kayak uh, somewhere. This gives me that peace of mind to, that I can just check and see its location at any given time. And also I just find it really handy to throw it in my luggage and things like that when I'm traveling too on an airplane because then I always know that my luggage is with me on the plane, which is really great. All right guys, I'll put links to all the products I mentioned here below. And if you make those purchases through those links, it really does help out this channel. If this video helped you, be sure and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. And if you have any suggestions on some really great kayak fishing locking mechanisms or security mechanisms out there, uh, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear if you found something really cool that works. All right, I'll see you next time. And just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye guys.